Stargazers retreated to a total lunar eclipse overnight. That's a big one. That's a big moon. Behind us, you can see the view from the Griffith Observatory. Oh, it's touching. Out, it's not there. Out in Los Angeles. It's a, and it's not blue cheese. <laughs> it's a much better view than around Philadelphia, where we had cloud cover, and that blocked the spectacle. It's like a nice blood orange there. A lunar eclipse happens when the sun, earth, and moon line up in just the right configuration. The earth casts a shadow that can partially or totally block out the moon. Stray bits of sunlight filter through the Earth's atmosphere all the way around, bend toward the moon, making it look red. That gives the spectacle its nickname, the Blood Moon. Deborah Skapik is an adjunct professor in the Physics and Astronomy Department at St. Joseph's University. She loves these celestial events. And it unifies us because we're all underneath the same sun and moon. The entire hemisphere of Earth can see this. Now the next total lunar eclipse will happen in March of next year. And Matt and Karen, I'm glad that's her attitude because in olden times, the blood moon, people would freak out. They would think terrible things are coming. It's mm. augured in the skies. Well, the problem yes. was, Karen, Mother Nature pulled a blankie over us. She Mom did. I couldn't see it. I really wished I could have seen it, especially since we're up anyway, <laughs> for us at least. I told people yesterday, maybe don't wake up in the middle of the night if you're not planning on it anyway, because it's kind of hard to see with the clouds. And I know this is probably hard for you to see at home, but I'm looking at the clouds right here, and they're currently covering up most of the region, but through Allen, town and areas north it is clearer and so folks there were able to see it so if you saw it send me a picture i would love to and the next total lunar eclipse we need to wait in our region in the u.s to get until next march so we've got another year to kind of wait for mother nature hopefully to part the clouds so we could see the next one because it really is cool beyond that we have to wait three more years until june so this really is a rare event for us, if we wait a year and then beyond that, we have to wait three more just to see it happen again.